Welcome back to Friday Beyond Spotlights. We have with us today Professor Francis Chen. Professor Chen is the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. During his tenure as Dean, he raised a, together raised a global ranking uh, of CHK to be first in Hong Kong, second in Asia, and 29th in the world. He helped train many good doctors, and uh, together with his team, developed the Gini B formula, who helped uh, people to cut the, the problem uh, during the long COVID. Who is Professor Chen behind the spotlights? Who or what defining moments in his life shaped him into who he is today? We'll get to learn more today. Uh, in this show and tell segment, we shall go behind and beyond glaring spotlights as our special guest, Dean Professor Francis Chen, show us a special item that shaped him into who he is today. Professor Chen? Hi, Nick. Did you bring your item? Yes, I did. This is my favorite movie star, Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> yes. Um, I like this movie. I watched it since I was a little kid. And this movie is very inspirational to me. Mm. I very much identify myself with Rocky in that I was born in a very poor family. When I was a little boy, I didn't have a chance to study in one of the local famous schools. Not because I was not smart enough. I had a chance. But because the school was a bit far away, the family couldn't afford an extra $8 a month mm. of transportation. Mm. So in the end, I was being placed in a very small school next to the wet market. Right. So um, people always talk about losing at the starting line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to me, when I was a, a boy, um, I, I know nothing about the starting line. Mm. I thought all my life, I lost at the starting line. I never had a chance to study in a famous local school. Mm. When I had a chance to study medicine, I, I was choosing between the very well-established medical school in Hong Kong U mm -hmm. versus the brand new medical school in CHK. Mm. Most people would go for the well-established medical school because you couldn't lose. Mm. But in those days, I surprisingly made a very brave decision to choose to study in that brand new medical school in CHK. Mm. Why? Because I don't believe in this starting line. I don't believe PATH is well established for those people who dare to dream. Mm. And therefore, I chose to study medicine in CHK. Life was tough because as one of the first, uh, batch, first few batches of graduates, uh, I have to do a lot of things by myself. Mm. I belong to the minority. I was being alienated, and um, but I I'm never afraid of failure. Even when I became the dean of medicine about ten years ago, my life was still full of challenges, and I faced failures again and again. But I I remember this movie Rocky once said, "Life is not always sunshine or rainbows. Life can be pretty nasty." It's not how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and still keep moving forward. And therefore, I, I believe this is really my motto. And therefore, I fight all my life. And I believe if you are not afraid of failures, then one day you will be successful. And I believe because I fail again and again, therefore, I am successful. You're a very humble man. Now, why would you say, even as a dean of medicine, uh, you've had repeated failures? What, what do you mean by that? I remember when I first took off as a dean, my first important mission is to reinvent the medical curriculum. I believe medical education is much more than just vocational training. I believe it is important to nurture the next generation of doctors to have international perspective, be innovative, and uphold humanity. And with this new program rolling out, at that time, I was heavily criticized for coming up with a kind of new strategy mm. in order to attract or to steal students from another medical school. Mm. So um, at that time, I, because of my lack of this political wisdom, I was heavily criticized and then I was forced to suspend this new, 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 new program. Oh. It was such a, 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 a failure mm. in that my friends told me, Francis, you forget it. This program, you have no chance at all. 
But I tell myself, if this is something really good for our next generation, why should I be bothered? Why should I be afraid of having just one or two hiccups in my, in my life? Mm. So I continue. I believe this is really good for the young generation. And with years of hard work, finally this program has become the number one top program in Hong Kong, attracting the best of the best students. Another example is about promoting colorectal cancer screening in Hong Kong. When we first started this program some 20 years ago, mm. at that time, colorectal cancer was not all that common in Hong Kong. Right. But in terms of the rate of the rise in the cancer incidence, that was number one. Colorectal cancer is entirely preventable. But at that time, few people appreciate the importance. They thought, forget it. It's not important. It's never a priority. We apply for research grants. We apply for donations. None was successful. Mm. But I told myself, if this is really important, we should not give up. We persevere. I remember in those days, I went to those restaurants, traditional Chinese restaurants during lunchtime, trying to teach and promote colorectal cancer screening to those doctors. I was talking, they were eating, never paid attention to me. Mm. Then I continue and continue. And then after 10, 15 years of hard work, with accumulation more and more data, we finally convinced the government that this is important, this is coming, and this cancer is entirely preventable. And some five years ago, finally, we have this colorectal cancer screening program available for all eligible people in Hong Kong. I see impossible is not in your vocabulary. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. Yeah. The most important thing is you pursue your dream and you dare to dream. If you believe in something, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how hard you get hit, you just stand up and continue to move forward. Can you share a story or two about some of your top students, um, how they have made a difference to the world? I'm very proud of my students because after graduation, some of them have been doing a lot of humanity work in different parts of the world. Uh, some have become very inspirational um, researchers trying to transform medical research ideas into something that can make a difference to the society. And others have been serving in various important uh, positions in the hospital authority. These best students, as they come in, are they all the same? And as they go out, do they become cookie cutter all the same? Definitely, these graduates, they need to be capable of handling challenges. They need to have this kind of global vision. They need to have a diverse interest. So instead of just becoming the same kind of doctor providing medical services, I very much hope that these students one day will be able to provide this kind of innovative ideas to the society, try to do humanity work to help those underprivileged people and to try to come up with new policy, advocate new policies to improve our healthcare system. Francis, as we reflect on the past, introspectively look at how Hong Kong or the world is today, and we gaze into the future, what is in store for us? Now, as a specialist and researchers in digestive disease, I do believe the future of medicine is microbiota, meaning poo medicine. We will be able to make use of poo to become the future generation of diagnostics and next generation medicine for the world. Well, we now have the chance to go up close and personal to ask some rapid fire questions to Professor Francis Chen. Mm. Professor. Yes. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> what is your favorite sport to play? Driving my very old sports car. Comfort food? Oh, eating white rice with soya sauce and lard. Your favorite place to bring friends who are new to Hong Kong? Science Park, my magic center. Talent you wish you had? Playing saxophone and grand piano. Your proudest moments? My youngest daughter being admitted into university. Nicest thing someone have ever said to you? Well, Francis, you're not as dumb as I thought. <laughs> uh, last thing you search online? Looking for hotels in Osaka. Title of your autobiography? Talking Pool. What are the qualities you admire most about your parents? Resilience. Biggest fear? Getting old. 
advice you would give your younger self? Don't be stupid. Legacy you wish to build? The largest food bank in the world. How will Hong Kong look in five years? Hong Kong will become a center of excellence in medical innovation. Thank you. Uh, that's all the time we have today. Uh, thank you for joining us on Friday Beyond Spotlights. Francis, thank you so much for showing me around your lab today. Well, Nick, this is the place, the biggest pool bank in Hong Kong, where we screen a lot of potential donors. Nick, if Francis. you don't mind, may I collect your pool? In the name of science? For mankind. For mankind. To everyone out there, please give me your pool. Thank you. <laughs>